Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Create. So last episode we constructed my house on top of this hill, which we also constructed here, to have a place to call our first home. And our first home turned out amazing. It's probably one of my best first builds I have ever done. I mean just look at it. I love it. So what I want to focus on today is, is making a workshop for some create machines. And my plan is to make it here and integrate it into the mountain. So first up, I'm gonna have to clear the land a little bit, do a little bit of digging to create some space. So I've got the hole ready, but I'm starting to second guess myself. I'm not really sure if this is the right place to build my workshop. Might need to think about this a bit. So I'm really starting to second guess myself now. Maybe I don't really like the idea of building in a mountain there. Maybe I'm just gonna put the workshop up there and make a similar sort of staircase I made here. Just make it up the mountain. Maybe a snake in front of it. But there's a nice curve to it. I don't want it to be just straight, straight stairs to the mountain. That would look too ugly. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick cover-up job. And we'll be right back. And probably start on making a part first because if I don't, I'm gonna be really annoyed with myself later. Alright, not too bad of a cover up. Alright, to get up the mountain. Probably just gonna do it right here. Make it a sort of crossroads. Just run straight out of the house up the mountain to my workshop. We don't have an elytra yet, so we can't fly. Do I'm looking forward to kill the dragon and find again an elytra. I'm really missing those wings. Yeah, let's get some blocks and let's get started on the stairs. Alright, we have reached the top. Got a little precarious stairs down here. Yeah, might need some tweaking. Might need a few different blocks here and there. But it's functional. That's what counts for now. So I'm not gonna disturb the landscape too much. I'm just gonna build a bit into it. But I'm not gonna build too far into it. Because, yeah, like I said, I don't wanna build on the ground. I just wanna build really cool buildings that are worth looking at. I'd give my world and my experience here some meaning. So back here at my workshop, or at least the place I want to build my workshop. And I've been playing around with the deep slate, with the metal girders, and I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I don't think it's gonna look the way I want it to look. So I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff. And then I'm gonna do a little mining because I kind of like these granite tiles better than the deep slate, so that's what I'm going to try to work with. But I'm going to have to do some mining because, yeah, I've got one stack and a bit. I'm going to need way more, so time to get digging and then we'll see what we can build here. Should be more than enough. So I haven't really figured out what exactly I want to build and what shape. So I'm just gonna freestyle it a bit. I do know it needs to be a bit wider here. So I'm gonna have an entrance. Gonna be like that. 
don't want to make it too blocky. Okay. It's starting to look like an entrance to an iron forge. Yeah, the granite fits way better than deep slate. Deep slate made it look a bit too dark for my taste. Now it looks dirty and scuffed, but in a pretty way. <laughs> Right, let's make some more of those beams, metal girders, and 80 in total. Yeah, should be fine for now. I hope that's enough because I don't have that much iron. Yeah, it's looking cool. I really like these girders. They look really good. I've got the rough shape done. I'm not too sure about this side. I might fill this in a bit more with some dirt just to uh, integrate it into the mountain a bit more. Uh, maybe the same for this side. I don't want to have these holes there, but we'll see about that later. Right now, I want to focus on the roof and I might do something with beams with these metal girders, maybe some wooden beams, have those beams hold up the roof, or I might make a second story. I'm not too sure. All right, we got the girders in place. Now, oh, oh, ouch. Now I'd like to get one cross beam going that way, if we can make that happen. And that was my last one. I crafted 80 of them and they're already gone. So time to make some new ones. All right, that's 80 more. If that isn't enough, I'm quitting. All right, got the cross beams in place. I might have to dig out the mountain a little bit, just to create some more space. I'm gonna set this one block back. So it's gonna come right there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep it the same width. It's gonna be too small otherwise, but it's gonna be one block back. Yeah, looks fine. Now, to fill up the gaps, I'm gonna need something like trapdoors or something else. Some metal grates, I don't know, metal bo iron bars, something like that. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna make the floor out of. Because it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay this way. I might just use andesite casings. Starting to shape up, nice. So I'm just mapping out the, the second floor now. Just gonna see where the windows gonna, are gonna come and how the walls are gonna look. It's all a bit plain at the moment because I'm using, using just one uh, one type of block, but I'm gonna switch it up later. First, I'm gonna just make the layout and then see what else needs filling in. Yeah, it's starting to take shape. Might need to divide those open spaces to make some uh, some long windows. Nah, just a singular window here. Make these one by trees here. And yeah, it looks better. It looks a bit more supported. All right, let's dig this out a bit and make some more space on the second floor because it's feeling a bit crammed at the moment. Just gonna need a bit more space to work with. So to save on space here on the inside, I'm gonna remove the staircase here and gonna make a little spiral staircase in the wall. But first, I'm gonna need some more andesite casings. <laughs> I knew they were expensive, but it'll look real cool. I'm gonna be so happy when I finally got a machine to automate all this work for me. This is one of the most tedious parts, is andesite casings. Ah well, they look cool, so it's worth it. Ooh, nice little rainbow. for the first floor. I'm just gonna dig everything out and then I'm gonna try with some different stone types. Might go for something darker like deep slate, some bricks. Some bricks would be cool. Maybe some small bricks. These are the standard Minecraft bricks. These are from the create mod. Try a few of these and try a few of these. Might be able to combine something cool. So, plates on the outside, rigs on the inside. We'll make some sort of pattern, make it look a bit interesting. Now, if I see this, 
I do like the outside, but I might need something else here in inside of here. Okay, I'm gonna have a think about this. In the meantime, I'm gonna remove this back wall, then fill it in with some granite. <laughs> so yeah, this might look a bit weird. I'm just trying to make a pattern with it. Just to have some fun with it and don't have it too plain of a floor. It might be overdoing it, but yeah, who cares. Just gonna see if I'm gonna fill it up with these plates or maybe something else. A bit of a contrasting color, maybe something lighter. And have the plates just for the outside. All right, we've got the flooring in and it's looking pretty nice, gotta say. I've got the underside pillows on the, on the flat side. And I've got some deep slate bricks mixed in. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. So, on to the stairs. And then we can try to fix up the roof. Alright, it's the next day and we're back here at my workshop. I've did a little bit of work off camera. I changed up the stair roll a bit. Filled it all in with the granite tiles. And I made some light with the lava columns. So next up is going to be building a roof over our head. And I'm thinking it's either going to be something like deep slate, darker color, or a bit more grayish color like stone or andesite. I'm not too sure about it yet. Yeah, I'm going to try with the deep slate first. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go with something lighter. Yeah, I'm not too happy with this. I'm going to change the layout of the roof a bit. I'm going to slope it. I'm going to make two slopes like this have a point in the middle instead of just sloping from the front to the back all right that's the roof done now time to integrate the roof a bit with the landscape because it looks very very cut off if you look at here just looks like someone took a slice out of it. I'm gonna cover it up with some dirt and <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, it looks a little better. It's not like I'm gonna view it from this side all the time. It'll be mostly from down here. You can hardly even see it. it should be fine. This might look a little weird because, well, it should be a factory. But yeah, just go with it. <laughs> it's gonna be an overgrown factory. So my pickaxe keeps breaking. That's because I got an unenchanted iron pickaxe. I don't have any diamonds at the moment and that's becoming quite a problem. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my mining machine and I'm gonna go down into my mine and try to find some diamonds. I mined for an hour yesterday and I got absolutely none. So this might take a while. Right, I'm down here in my mine. So I've got a very, very basic minecart contraption. It's just a minecart, some drills and some chests. A bit more advanced contraption would have some deployers to deploy the rails in front of it and then uh, remove them on the backside. I'm not yet at the brass stage, so I'm gonna do it all by hand. Let's go! All right, first run. Zero diamonds, of course. Nice! Two diamonds, finally. Still not enough to make a pickaxe. <laughs> diamonds! Diamonds! Oh, yes! Finally. Nice. Got four now, I'm gonna leave the rest. I hope there's more. I'm gonna come back with a fortune pickaxe. Even more diamonds. Ooh, I'll be back later. I'll be back later. Time to make that pickaxe. Ah, I just remembered. Got a diamond pickaxe, silk touch. So the one I'm gonna make now is gonna be fortune one. I do need three more levels. I'm gonna quickly dip back into the mines. I'm gonna use my hoe to hoe some, some skulk for XP. Should have thought of that when I was down there. Ooh, diamonds. Let's hope this enchantment is giving me fortune. If not, I'm gonna have to go back and mine some more. 
All right, enchanting table. Don't disappoint me. All right, time to go back into the mines. All right, enchanting table. Don't disappoint me. Part two. This better be a good one. Oh, this better be a good one. I don't want to go back into the mines. All right, enchanting the pickaxe, third try is the charm. This might be unbreaking and fortune, but I'm not sure. So if these are the same, this one must be better. Oh my God, I'm not even fortune. Time to get some more XP and I might just craft a second pickaxe. All right, fourth time. found the trader goblin down here he has a cobblestone trade he has some other trades yeah i don't have the books at the moment the cobblestone he might have some as far as i know this <laughs> this cobblestone trade you can do it a lot of times like pretty much indefinitely it's 28 extra emeralds i mean i only had 19 to start with so all right oh my god fifth time finally <laughs> and it's a god roll <laughs> finally oh i'm so glad i finally have that one all right time to do some building finally finally got my pickaxe all right so we're back here at my workshop and i've got the windows in place i've got the doors installed got the walls done got the roof done so that means it can get started on the interior I am going to move a few machines from my house to here and I'm going to build some new machines here. But to do that I'm going to need a power source. And I'm thinking it might be a bit too early to start a steam engine. Because even though I've got some pretty big builds done, I'm still in the beginning phases of the create mod. And we've got company again. I haven't seen those guys in a while. Bye bye. Alright, we're back here in my workshop. So first thing I want to make is a smelter. My idea is to make something like this here. Make a belt and have some fans on the back side to smelt all the goods. So we're gonna have an input, we're gonna have an output. I forgot this straight. I should be able to power that one with a water wheel down below and that should power all these fans, at least in theory. Okay, it's going the wrong way. That's easy fixable with a gear shift. Yep, and it's blowing, nice. Nice. All right. Oh, Ooh. forgot to power the belt. Not really how I wanted it. That's all right. I'm just. I'm gonna leave it like this. It's fine for now. Now we're gonna use lava to smelt everything, but we don't want the lava to run over the belt and burn everything. So we can put bars on top of the belt. Item can still pass underneath. And they all get smelted. If I do this right and use some glass, I won't get fried. I'm gonna need some lava to cook all the stuff. I hope one lava is enough. Yep, nice. Shouldn't get hurt on this side. Nope. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Oh yeah, let's not do that again. Oh god, I hear an Enderman. With the echo, it sounds really scary. I'm gonna grab the ores I just got. It's, oh my god, that's loud. Now let's see if this thing works. I don't need that much uh, ingot at the moment. God, what's that noise? Enderman is bugging the shit out of me. So I found the culprit who has been making all that noise. I've been hearing that Enderman for quite some time and apparently he's up here. Let's see if he gets me the Ender Pearl. God, the 
noise. All right, back to my workshop. I'm quite a bit busy here. I've moved these from the inside of the house to here. I was busy crafting a blaze burner, but I forgot I don't have a nether, nether portal yet. So yeah, I'm gonna need to head to the nether, get some blaze burners. All right, here goes nothing. So I'm gonna fill those five blaze burners and I'm going back without dying. Please give me a good spawn. Okay, all right, all right. Wait, what are those? Ah! I didn't scream like a girl. <laughs> it was you, it was not me. <laughs> this place sucks. No, leave me alone. <laughs> I hate the nether. So I'm just gonna dig and see where I come out. Pretty sure there's no there's no fortress really close. So I'm gonna have to do some searching. And when I find one. <gasps> God, I hate the nether. Absolutely hate the nether. I do like to have a way out. Just in case. Wait. That's not a blaze. What the hell? Where is he shooting at? Who's shooting? Is that him? Is he shooting at me? Yeah, he is. I might be able to catch that one, I'm not sure. It's not a real blaze. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Alright, I'm going in. Going in. Oh, burn! Blaze Guardian, what the hell? Can't seem to catch him. What the hell? Can't seem to catch him. Can't seem to hit him. No! no I hate the fucking other. Hmm? No way! That's just rude. So we've got blaze guardians in the wild. But no actual blazes. That's pretty stupid. Come on then. Oh no. Come here! Oh, stop cheating! There you are. No. No. He exploded. He exploded, of course. Okay, before I'm going back, I'm gonna make some diamond armor because I don't feel like dying again. All right, let's see. Where's my stuff at? No way. No. No way, he's still alive. Dude. Run, run. Did I get everything is the question. No way, no, 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 no. Nope. 
<laughs> nice. Oh no, more magma cubes. I was hoping I'd finally find a spawner with some uh, blazes, but yeah, no luck. No! Of course, this is gonna set me on fire. Four. I'm not sure where the fifth went. It's been an hour exactly. Find some blazes. And I didn't even find a fortress, I just found a blaze spawner. Now it's time to go home. Uh uh No way, no way, no way! I'm going home, I'm going home! Fuck you, I'm out! Out, out! Jesus Christ! Oh, that was so hectic. Oh man. Oh, I'm glad I'm back here. Mutated horses. Wither skeletons with a with a with a tail. Jesus Christ. All right, first blaze burner. That means we can make some some copper know what I'm saying. It means we can make some brass for which we need copper. Ah, zinc and copper to make brass. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Brass production is a go. All right, my first stack of brass ingots. Now it's time to make some deployers. Oh yes, the electron tubes. Those two. So to make the electron tubes, I'm gonna need some quartz and I'm gonna need some redstone. Redstone I've got more than enough of. Quartz. This is the only it's the only quartz I got at the moment. Let's make a big ass tower and mine it all. What? Why am I hearing zombie moaning sounds up here? That's weird. Alright, here we go. Man, this is awesome for leveling up. Nice. Two and a half stacks. Should be more than enough for now. Just got a Santa Rose Quartz into polished Rose Quartz. And those I can use, I think, with iron plates. Yes, iron plates to make electron tubes. All right, eight electron tubes. Let's see three of those to make the precision me mechanisms. Yeah, I'm not sure I should do it. <gasps> no! Yeah, I'm not letting you in. <laughs> you can't get in. <laughs> Tough luck, boy. Seems to be just him. Where are the buddies? Hello! Housekeeping! Oh, there's the rest. <laughs> oh well. That's one there. Oh my, that's so incredibly slow. <laughs> Oh, that's, <laughs> that, that is the worst. I'm just gonna give it its own water wheel because the water wheels I got for the for smelter, they're not giving it enough power. So it's gonna get its own water wheel. Oh, come on. We need 128 each. So one more water wheel should do the trick. Nice. Nice. All right, to get this crafter set up, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need three barrels, barrel each, 
And I'm gonna need to fill them with iron nuggets, uh, small corks, and big corks. I'm gonna have to place some barrels on both ends to hold the precision mechanisms. So my recording software kind of crapped out on me. And I'm in the process of making precision mechanisms. So how it works is I've got three deployers. I've got a small cogwheel, a big cogwheel, and an iron nugget here. To get it started, you put in golden sheets. If you go through the process, they give you an incomplete precision mechanism. And if you do this process five times, there's an 80% chance you get a precision mechanism. So 20% chance to get some random junk. One more round. I could automate this. At the moment, I don't really care. I don't need that much precision mechanisms. Let's see what our hull is. Four. Nice. Now we can use these later. I don't need them right now at the moment. So what I want to focus on next is making a mechanical crafter. Um, preferably right either this wall or that wall. But this one is a bit bigger so I might just build it here. What do we need? Mechanical crafter. Electron tubes. Brass casing and crafting tables. Give us three. And how much do we need? I believe the maximum was 21. Gonna need to make crushing wheels later. And for crushing wheels you need 21 mechanical crafters. So 9 brass casings, 9 crafting tables and 9 electron tubes. Alright, 9 electron tubes, 9 crafting tables and that's 9 brass casings. And because I couldn't count I've got 27 mechanical crafters, of course. I mean, I'm making Minecraft videos for YouTube. What did you expect? Now to get this mechanical craft working, it's gonna need some rotational power and I'm gonna place an output box here. Not sure if it works that way. If not, I'm gonna replace it with a depot. Oh, you know what, just to be safe. So the mechanical crafter is done. The only thing it needs is some power, and I'm gonna hook that up right now. I really hope one water wheel does the trick. We'll find out soon enough. Ah, overstress. Of course. The only thing I can do is build another water wheel. Still overstressed. So if you need 64 SU per crafter, you need about 1300 in total. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add another water wheel. That should do the trick. Yes, got it going, finally. So I haven't really checked how long how long this episode is gonna be. I just have been recording and playing for about 10 hours. So it might be smart to put an end to this episode. The very last thing I wanna do before we end this episode is make some crushing wheels. Because those crushing wheels I'm gonna need in the next episode. What I wanna do in the next episode is make, an, make a small iron farm, just to get the automation going. I just want to get started with automating everything. Iron seems the most logical thing to start. Next up after that, I'm not too sure. Maybe a gold farm, XP farm. Yeah, we'll see about that. Now let's make those crushing wheels I'm gonna need in the next episode. I'm not mistaken, it is one stone, four wood, the rest of it, and the side alloy. That should give me two crushing wheels. There it goes, there it goes. And nice, nice, very nice. First crushing wheels, time to up my game. These are the first and definitely not the last crushing wheels I'm gonna need. Cause right now I'm just smelting all the ores directly into ingots. But a smarter way to do it is to crush them first. So you can get some XP from it and there is a chance to get some extra ores. But we'll get to that in the future. <gasps> oh my god, leave me alone. What the hell? I'm trying to do my outro, bro. Leave me alone. Oh man, two and a half hearts. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, you really got me. I don't have any food on me. Oh no, not again. Not this again. Just wanted to do my outro. I just wanted to make my outro. And get started with editing. I don't know, maybe order some pizza. And chill. Wow, I've never seen my house from this angle. Hmm, kinda proud. Kinda proud of what I built. Alright, let's try this again. I'll try to not get interrupted this time. So that was it for this episode. Accomplished a lot of things. We got the first floor of a workshop done. We got a smelter. We got a precision mechanism maker. 
and we got the mechanical crafter set up. So all in all, pretty happy with our progress. Next episode, we're probably gonna work on the iron farm. But you know, plans can change, so we'll see next episode. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.